Hey there YouTube, it's Matt and Man 3225. Well, sorry it's been so long since I've done a video. But I've got a very interesting one to show y'all today. It's a project I've done with the Kubota. Some of y'all might be interested in this, some of you may not, but uh, here we go. Hopefully the intro turned out good. I'm trying to do it with a cell phone, so this should be interesting. All right. Like I say, some folks might be interested in this, some folks might not be, but we'll start from what you need to do first before you see what's under the hood. <clears throat> so I found the easiest way if you're wanting to do a horn upgrade, as the title says, first thing you want to do is take the 10 amp fuse and put, I think I put a 15 or a 20 amp in line. The next thing you want to do, but I tried using the stock horn switch, that didn't work. So I went to Amazon and bought a 50 amp heavy duty momentary switch. And just popped it right in place right there where the stock, uh, you know, where the, the butt, you know, the hazard switch would go. Unless you're using your turn signal kit, then you might have to cut you a pot out maybe like right here. But either way, you're going to have a little bit of space to play with right there. Or somewhere. You can find somewhere to put it, but right there's a good place. The next thing you're going to want to do. Let me pull my brake up here. Pop this out and I'll show you what we did. It's kind of hard to get to and there's a rat nest down in here. The next thing you want to do, want to do, is you're going to want to find which wire is which here off your horn switch. And then you're going to go in here. It's kind of hard to see it from all that rat nest. And you're going to take a larger wire and you're going to take a ground and you're going to piggyback off your horn wire from your, your actual horn switch here. So that's gonna be rendered obsolete. You're gonna delete that out. And you're gonna piggyback off of that hot from the horn switch, the stock switch. I'm gonna plug this back in the hole. So you're gonna put a heavier fuse. You're gonna piggyback off the power off your horn switch. Mine burned up, but you're gonna piggyback off it and it's gonna be rendered useless and run that into your heavy duty momentary now once you've done all that the sky's the limit to an extent but this is what i did with mine with what space you've got under the hood voila $27 off of Amazon and uh, like $12. Well, I bought some other pieces and parts. For, well, yeah. I bought uh, some other pieces and parts for another project, but 12 bucks from uh, Ace Hardware. So I bought a little brass coupling here to uh, connect all the line. Hang on just a second, gotta lay the thing down because I unhooked a small piece of it here. And pulling that to show y'all. The piece. So excuse that. There we go. Sorry about that. Y'all have to see my arm there. So anyhow, as you can see, tucked back up in there is the uh, T. I used a copper, but you can use plastic. So I went to Home Depot. That's the stock compressor I'll come with your first set. You're going to buy two of these. And you keep the compressor for backup if you want a backup compressor out of the second set. You plug your compressor into the stock harness because you've upgraded the switch and the fuse. The stock horn harness itself will be fine. This bracket actually came from a wall up. Well, yeah. Oh, wait, no, I take that back. This is the stock horn bracket. I'm sorry. So you take the stock horn off, keep the bracket. Just drill the hole out a little bit bigger to fit the bolt. Mount the compressor here. Buy you a run of hose. Run that down. Mount it here. Run along here. Run along here. Go into the first set. Cut it off there. It'll go back up in there in that first set. It actually, let me turn my hat back around here where I can get up in here. That first set 
it actually mounted it's kind of hard to see there but you can mount it up right here and there to this piece of plastic here and then the horn of course bolts up right there that's where the first set's mounted second set you'll use your windshield washer tank to press fit and there you go that's all you got to do that's how simple it is to put a dual trumpet horn set up under the hood of a Kubota and here's what they sound like Not too shabby, if I do say so myself. Yeah. Uh, all I'm going to say is... Yep, hood closes, everything works like it's supposed to. I'm certainly not going to complain about the project. As all, excuse me. As always, y'all, please rate, comment, subscribe. As a couple of good ideas. We'll bring him along. I'm just running dry. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. As always, keep out of trouble now, you hear?